we got it on. Hey, oh yeah, baby. Welcome to Chef Boy Cajun Kitchen. Hey, yeah, baby. Let me tell you what we got today. Today, I got some fried catfish. You can see how that looks. Got some good old frog legs. And let me tell you, if you can't get out and catch your frog legs, then you might want to go ahead and go to the grocery store. They usually sell them over here, the frog legs in a pack. Alright. Then we're going to have some deep fried cauliflower. That's a, that's a delicacy in my house. We love that. My kids was raised on this stuff. And when I go to Urban Treasure Hunter house or Kara's house, they always got some cauliflower, deep fried cauliflower, because they know that daddy and mama loves it. And I tell you, the kids love it. I tell you, it's just some good stuff. Ah, right, yeah, good, good, good. Now, I got my grease warming up. Oh, yeah, I'm in good shape. It's about 250. I need to bring it to about three and a quarter around there. So here I go. We're going to start the show. All right. I do things a little different, by the way. If you haven't had any of Leo's good wine, you missed out on it. Good stuff. Alright, I'm using corn flour. In this bowl, I'm going to put corn flour. Oh, I'd say two cups. Two cups. I'm going to season that up with a dash of chili powder. Get me a dash of cayenne. Oh, happy birthday, Keith. And Terry, I believe it's your birthday, too. I'm not quite sure, but I believe I caught that. Happy birthday to y'all. Paprika. Put a little touch of paprika. Garlic powder. Bill God, I hope you're doing okay out there on your grid there, wherever that grid is, buddy. Punxy Jumper. Keep making them dog biscuits. I made some. My dog loves them. All right. One hello. Got some cauliflower we're going to fry for you. I put a little salt in here. You know, salt is something else. Salt, it's a personal thing. If you like it salty, you put a lot. If you don't like it salty, don't put much. If you don't can't use salt, don't put none. All right. I'm going to kind of stir this up a little bit. Got me a little whisk right here. Oh, I tell you, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. All right, let's work with the catfish first. I'll put me a little salt on my catfish. Not much. And I'll tell you why. I like to put a touch of chili powder. If you notice, when you go to the store, and you buy your Cajun seasoning mix, you get your seasoning mix, people say, why you use chili powder? Because that's what's in it. All the stuff I use, that's what you get in them little, them little uh, seasoning mixes. Same thing. A little touch of cayenne, minus the cayenne. Cayenne, cayenne to me, that's the baby there. That's, the, that's what puts out the, the tell you, Cajun. Ah, two ninety five. Working on it. Paprika. I'm all paprika. Not much. Let me take this out of the way. Now, I'm going to kind of mix this up real good. Ah, yeah. Then I'm going to kind of spread that out a little bit. And you know, a lot of people, well, if, if you've seen my videos in the past, me frying fish, nothing changed. I put a little mustard on mine. I'm not going to run it through a batter. Just put a little mustard on there. You can be generous. And I kind of mix that up together. If you're making you a fried catfish sandwich, it's great. If you're eating it with french fries, it's great. 
No matter how you eat this, on the pull bar or however, it's good. Look how pretty and yellow. Now I'm going to put this in my little bowl. Cover it up, and I'm going to make like I'm at the dance. some people. Because all you're going to do is get a, a little old soft spot on it. I like it to be a little chunky all over the place. Look at that. Holy moly. This is going to be one heck of a meal. Look at that rascal boy. Ooh, woo. Oh yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what. And this is what we got. Look at this catfish. Let me tell you what. Mm. These catfish slept in the bayou last night. They couldn't stay away from Chef Bucket. Hey! My God, that's good. I've got some good old fashioned cauliflower. What I cut kind of thin. Got the core and everything here. My cauliflower, we're going to deep fry it, put a little salt on there, and I usually put a little garlic powder. 
And that's all I'm going to put in there because I've got seasoning on that, in that corn flour. There you go. And I'm going to put this in my chicken broth egg batter, egg mix, egg wash. And just let it set. I want it to set. Set right there, boy. And my grease is getting good. Now, take my cauliflower out of this chicken broth and egg mixture. Put it in my seasoned corn flour. I like the little greenies, you know, the little greenies, the little pieces of that little flourette that hang around, you know. I like that. I like to fry that. There's some little crumbs. You always make sure your little lid's on there tight before you go to shaking and doing your thing. Ha, 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 yee, ha, yeah, baby, hey, hot dang. That. Well coated, well coated, well coated. I'm gonna drop that in my hot grease. And I'll see you in a minute. Hey, oh yeah, baby. Okay, let's try this out with some cauliflower. On a deep fry, some cauliflower. Looking at about 275 to 325 right now. It's gonna get hotter. This you want to deep fry. I like to go till it's golden brown. With a little skinny, skinny pieces is like a potato chip. That's when you know you got some good cauliflower. See, that's a little green meat. I like that. All that seasoning, it all goes together. You get some big pieces in there. Yeah, this Chef Bouquet is Friday night tonight. Supposed to get cold down in the 20s by Wednesday. Boy, I tell you, my old hip. I guess, uh, you know, everybody's little hip and stuff reacts to the cold. Hands, feet, ears, whatever. Now I'm just going to let that fry for a while. All right, this is done. I'm going to take this out right now. Oh, that's pretty. And that looks crunchy. I can feel the crunch. Yes, indeed, by George. Man, now that's my little greenies. See if my little greenies to last. They come floating to the top, Jack. being out there cooking on the bayou. I've got to do that again pretty soon. Wait. I think everything, all the little fish and everything's on the bottom. That includes the alligator. They're down there eating something. Hoping somebody falls in. And that's it. Put that on. Some legs. Look at that. She got legs. Don't know how to use them. 
All right, I'm gonna season them legs now. Put a little cayenne. Yeah, these frogs. These frogs are something else. A little garlic powder. That's the best they ever look. A little touch of chili powder. Put me a little paprika. A little salt. You know, people say frog legs are good for you. For one thing, you know, if you get a wart, they know you've been frogging. You can't hide that. Now I'm going to let this set for just a minute. Just a little while. Because i got something else i got to do. You know what they say? Frogs, when you eat a fried frog, it tastes like chicken. Well, i got some chicken broth. I'm going to mix my little stuff because I'm going to put the chicken back in frogs. I put it back in chicken in each city. Fried, deep fried chicken by Chef Bouquet. I'm putting it in the frog now. You drop an egg into some broth. I got maybe a cup and a half of broth. Now this I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna add any seasoning to this. I got enough in my 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 corn flour and on my frog. Now I'm going to put this in there. Alright. Let them sit just a second. Get my little grease working again. Boy, that grease got to work. Alright, Froggy, let's go. Oh, yeah. Put them on the side. And I'm going to shake it up, baby. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And get ready to fry. Now, before I fry, when my grease is getting good. I'm going to start frying some frogs. I'll see you in a minute. Hey, oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, boy, I tell you, them little frogs are something else. These I'm going to fry for seven minutes. Oh, you got to watch them so they don't jump out the pot. Yeah. 